No, boy. Right. You ready, buddy? Because I don't like reading out loud, but I'm doing this for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So, a proclamation in honor of Opraxia Awareness Day. Whereas May 14, 2024, marks Childhood Opraxia Speech Day, during which awareness will be raised throughout Pennsylvania about childhood apraxia of speech, an extremely challenging speech disorder that affects one in 1,000 children. Whereas children of apraxia of speech causes children to have significantly difficult learning to speak and is among the most severe speech deficits in children. Whereas the act of learning to speak comes effortlessly to most children, those with apraxia require early, appropriate, and intensive speech therapy, often for many years learning to speak. Whereas without appropriate speech therapy intervention, children with apraxia will have diminished communication skills, but are also placed at high risk for secondary impact in reading, writing, spelling, and other school-related skills. Whereas that such primary and secondary impacts diminish future independence and employment opportunities and challenge the ability to become productive, contributing citizens if not resolved or improved. Whereas public awareness about childhood or practice of speech in Pennsylvania is essential for families of children with this neurological disorder and the professionals who support them to achieve the needed services for those learning to use their own voice. Whereas our highest respect goes to these children as well as their families for the effort, determination, and resilience in the face of such obstacles. Now, therefore, we, the Bradford County Commissioners, hereby proclaim May 14, 2024, as a Praxia Awareness Day in Bradford County and encourage citizens to work within the communities to increase awareness and understanding of childhood or Praxia of speech. Thank you very much. Very appreciate Thank you. This is the first time we've done this. Yeah, right? it is, I believe. Yeah. So that's outstanding. Yep. Very good. And if you can teach us any more about it, so I'm, I'm not familiar with this. My mother was a speech therapist for really? 35 years in the Troy School District. I know that this was one of the things that she really cared about. Yeah. 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 Really had an interest in it. I'll help you. I'll help you. He wants to say something. Sure. I have apraxia. It is a neurological speech disorder in which I have difficulty making accurate movements needed for intelligible speech. Intelligible speech. I may get frustrated and shut down when not understood. I may use gestures, sign language, or my communication device to help me communicate. (laughs) I can still hear and understand what you say even though I struggle to speak. If you see me, please say hello and include me. I'm still a kid who wants to play and have friends. Thank Very you. good. Thank you. Good job, buddy. Good job. Ever since they acknowledged that he has apraxia and diagnosed him with it, um, they thought at age three he had it. They won't diagnose him until age five. Um, so we went to um, ADMI down at Geisinger, um, at the Autism and Developmental Institute Center. Um, they, at four years old, they said, we suspect he has it, but we can't hmm. diagnose until he's age five because of his develop, normal developmental um, in children. So, man, it's <laughs> so um, 
we went back, we did intensive speech therapy for a year um, through blast, through outpatient services, anything we could find, like through the school, like preschool, everything. And then we ended up going to um, back to ADMI at five years old. We got the official diagnosis, and then that's where we got in contact with the praxiakids.org. Um, they had found um, certified speech therapists where there's not very many in this area trained in apraxia. Um, there's a lot of speech therapists that have touched base on it, but they're not dedicated to apraxia alone. And he wasn't making any advances in the two year from three to five. Um, when he started with Ms. Kim, she's the one who found his voice. Nice. That's and great. We love her very much. <laughs> That's great. She's out of Carroll County, Maryland. He does. I'm so thankful for her. A year ago today, well, a year ago this month, he was barely saying two word utterances. He's having full communications with his friends in school. It's wonderful. Baseball, soccer, Cub Scouts, horseback riding. Yeah. He's involved in everything. So his voice does not stop him from not being able to verbally communicate. Mm -hmm. But he has other ways of communication. And so he sees Miss Kim online um, three days a week for a half hour each from 6.45 a.m. to 7.15 a.m. every morning. Um, and then he also has, um, and that's outpatient. Like we pay out of our pockets and hopefully we get reimbursed from the insurance. But um, so yeah. Here he is having communication and that's, trying to speak. Did a great, <laughs> and did that's great. great. I mean, that's not easy when you're standing up in front of people to do that. No. So no. I think as a county, we need to be more um, aware of people's communication skills. I think that we we just had this discussion that we need to take upon request and have signers available to sign if there's somebody that's, whether they're hearing impaired, impaired, verbally impaired, sight impaired, that when we have county events or anything, I think that we need to be very, we, we need to recognize that and make sure that everybody's included through communication to what we do. Same thing with, it's just starting to become a little more popular, but the communication boards at playgrounds and parks and stuff, where it's just simple commands mm -hmm. of yes, no, up, down, thirsty, hurt, sad, mm. anything like that. Um, it's, it's starting to become more popular and, you know, it's, it's helpful for children because he doesn't like carrying his communication device with him because it's hard to right. carry. It's bulky. We don't let you carry it in a lot of places. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's his way of communication, especially when he's out playing with his friends because he doesn't want to show that he's mm -hmm. different. Uh, well, we're proud of you, yeah, buddy. Very good. You mm -hmm. did a great job. Thank you. All right. I'll entertain a motion. So, a second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you.